on guys here this is Xbuzzer man and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to record your iOS screen whether it be an Apple iPod mini an iPod touch an iPhone or an iPad uh, you'll be able to record all that in the best quality settings without jailbreaking your iOS device and this works for all versions no matter what it is it doesn't matter if it's iOS 8 iOS 7 whatever you're on you'll be able to record it you can record games such as Minecraft Pocket Edition Clash of Clans Candy Crush uh, whatever you guys want to play Asphalt 8 Madden 25 uh, you can record anything and you won't need to download any apps all you're gonna need is to download applications on your computer and you'll be able to record with very easy is with very much ease so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna we're going to download um, a, one of two programs you can either download air server or reflector and what these do is they display your iPad screen or whatever your iOS screen onto your computer um, I personally prefer reflector because I have a crack for it and what a crack is is you can basically get it for free um, it's not legal but you can get it for free I'll show you guys um, how to get that I'll put the link in the description uh, if you want that or and just kind of try to figure out how to do it but for air server all you can you what you can do is you can create a seven day free trial and uh, you can just keep creating trials so if you're really wanting to go the free route and the legal route go with air server if you want to uh, pay a little bit or you know kind of uh, get a little bit of a crack for it I'd recommend reflector um, the one I'm gonna be using I'm gonna show you um, reflector just for the fact that uh, it's the one I primarily use so what we're gonna do first is we are going to open up reflector and it should be right here right in the bottom right the script right here and it should be a little app it doesn't pop up or anything just open that up all you need to do is double click it next thing you're going to need to do is go on your iPad go into the settings section and go to your Wi-Fi switch switch that switch on that turns on your Wi-Fi and make sure your Wi-Fi is on the same network your computer is so if say you're on a D-Link uh, router and your Wi-Fi says D-Link so you should your uh, your computer be so once you get that all done just go ahead swipe up on your uh, your screen I'll show you how to do that once I get it all displayed and mirrored up there um, here one second. Let me close out real quick um, Sometimes you need to adjust it and see how it works out um, Should be up uh, now and I'm gonna flick up and figure out if I can find this mirroring app um, Sometimes it doesn't recognize. Oh, I didn't even turn on my Wi-Fi. That's kind of a reason why I probably should um, so turn on your Wi-Fi and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go display my screen and show you what you're gonna want to do So there it is. There's my screen right there I'm going to flick down and show you where you need, what you're going to need to do. What you're going to need to do is go to your settings. And there it is right there. There's my Wi-Fi. I'll just flick that switch on. And then go right here. Swipe up on the bottom um, for iOS 7 at least. If, um, if you're use, running iOS 6, just double click the home screen and swipe over twice. And there should be this little thing right here. It's called AirPlay. Uh, find your computer. Mine's my baby. And Click on that uh, mirroring tab and you should be able to see your uh, iPad screen. It should be uh, maybe a little bit laggy, but overall it should be pretty good and pretty awesome to get to go. So we're going to close that, uh, just kind of like minimize that. And I'm going to go show you guys the next thing you're going to need. The next thing you're going to need is either Fraps, which is a video game capture device, uh, recording software or DX Tori which is another one so I'm giving you guys some options here so you don't have to really um, you know if you want to use one or the other or you have one and you don't have one this is DX Tori they both cost around $35 but I will put some links in the, in the description on how to get these for free so I'm gonna be using DX Tori because that's the one I use and I'm just gonna go ahead double click that and it should but display it right here now you can do, now you can uh, record your iPad screen I'll show you right here um, it should have that little display marker right there um, configure this thing to where you can uh, you know do whatever uh, you can place your hotkeys or something like that this will allow you this little setting right here will allow you to record audio and the audio of the uh, the iPad 
don't forget to turn your um, your ringer on. Um, if this is turned off and on silent, then you won't be able to hear your iPad. So I'm gonna go and turn that on and show you right here. Um, all I'm going to need to do is press F12 now, and you should see it's in the red right there. Now I'm going to go over to whatever. I'm going to go over to Madden 25 as an example because it has a good soundtrack that I like. And uh, I should be able to hear it and I can now record it. So now you should be able to record and uh, it looks all good to go. Um, you know, you can go in, connect with Facebook, do whatever you do. And we're going to just go ahead and close out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and you know, get, get out of there. And now what we're going to do, once you get your footage, that didn't feel good. Um, I'm going to show you what you need to do next. So, now that you got your footage, we're going to go ahead and close out of this, if I can, if it will let me. Come on. I, I don't care. Go into any kind of editing program. I'm going to show you Vegas Pro. This is if you don't know how to. And you can actually stretch your, uh, your clip to whatever you want. I'll show you. Find the file in which you uh, recorded it from. I'm going to go to my desktops, find my... YT folder. Nope, that's not the right thing. And let's see, can we find it? Is this it right here? I'm, I have I have a feeling that this is it. Yeah, this is it. And as you can see, it is in 960 by 720 right uh, right over here. You don't want that. You want 1280 by 720. So go ahead, click right here. Go to properties. If you don't have Sony Vegas, I'll put another link in the description on how to get that for free. Um, you know, we're doing all kinds of free stuff. Go right here, go to 16 by 9 widescreen, and then you're going to stretch up to where you can get the whole iPad screen in there. Right there. That. And now, once you render your clip and post it on uh, your YouTubes, it should look like this. I'm going to go ahead and show you it. Um, let's go over to our video managers. Uh, just real quick. Uh, let's go, let's go show you my Clash of Clans, yeah. Uh, oops. It should look like that. It looks pretty good. Um, go check out my other videos and go see that. But I wanted to thank you all for watching. That's really easy. Just comment down below if you don't get what to do. I know this was kind of confusing to some of you new uh, recorders probably. But I will be there to come and help you guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, guys, go check out my channel. I do a lot of a lot of this game right here. Um, a lot of this game right here. And a lot of that game. And a lot of Minecraft. So go check me out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like this video up. And later.